first of all, he's a great individual, great person, uh, has his head on the right place. Um, and then just a student of the game. He understands uh, how defense try to uh, play him. And he used that to his advantage. And he's a very unique running back, honestly. Because typically, uh, I was just telling, uh, I was actually just telling Coach Lincoln just yesterday. You know, normally you have a fast guy, uh, or you have a, you know, a power guy like James Davis. But Travis, he's one of those guys. He's a combination guy. He's a combo. So he has speed and he has power. Into, you know, as a defender, that's hard to defend because you don't know what he's gonna do. Like with me, people pretty much know how he's gonna outrun you. I'm gonna try to shake you. You know, if I had to put my head down to get a, you know, third and two, I would. But with Travis, you don't know what. Literally, you don't know what he's gonna do because he can run you over. And he's fast enough; he can run outside, uh, around you. So it's very unique. Uh, and then I think his uh, his pass catching ability is getting a whole lot better. His uh, pass protection is getting a whole lot better. And that just comes with repetition and recognizing where the blitz comes from. And I think him and uh, Trevor has a good rapport on you know recognizing the blitzes and Trevor can kind of point him in the directions of <clears throat> where the blitz may be coming from. So as a running back, that helps a whole lot when you can know where the guy's coming from. Is, is he both thunder and lightning? Oh yeah, without a doubt, because he, he has that combination. Uh, now, I'm not going to say he's the fastest. Yeah, he has that heat light. That heat light is pretty dangerous too, though. This is a very big moment for me. i uh, just forever grateful. Just uh, opportunity to change my life, just my whole lifestyle, just going forward. And man, I'm just forever grateful to uh, be a, a criminal graduate. A couple times, player of the year, brought on to the conference. Where would you rank graduating from the conference? I mean, this is definitely number one. Uh, I had to put a lot of hard work in this one. Every uh, off-field um, accolade I could have uh, got, uh, this is going to stay with me forever. ETN and breaks a couple of tackles. Look out, he's a sprinter. Oh, boy. Shades of things to come. Welcome to college football. Travis ETN. I just had a sense come on, come on. I'm gonna bust out late. An embarrassment of riches. An embarrassment. Come on 81 in. yards. Come on in, nine. We'll give you a few carries here, kid. Be ready. This guy is gonna be a superstar. Shotgun, ETN will make the first down and break free. 
Forget the first down. He's got a touchdown. The Tigers pouring it on. You figure, Kurt, today he might remind everybody how great he is after being bottled up in that game at South Bend. No doubt about it. It was just a matter of him getting his opportunities. And here on a, on a fourth and short, he gets out. He stretches that Notre Dame defense and then hits an accelerator and gets upfield to the end zone. Picks up a couple good blocks that helped him out. 88-yard drive. They were set back by the penalty. They did 10 plays. Notre Dame scored first. Clemson has scored 24 straight now. Dabba won the penalty right in front of him for late hit. ETN explodes through the hole. One man with a chance to stop him, Jalen Elliott, and he will not. Touchdown, Clemson, 62 yards in a blur. All Travis ETN needs is a little space, and he's got the speed to get it to the end zone. We've been saying it. He's a home run hitter. Set the Clemson record for rushing touchdowns by a freshman. It's been a challenge to slow down Trevor Lawrence making his second career start. Travis Etienne! Gone! Second massive run of the day. 70 yards for the score. This Clemson offense, he's deep into Pittsburgh territory. His second huge run, Hamlin drove him out. If you go back in the backfield, he's tackled. He's tackled by Idowu. 23 has him, 44 Reynolds. He's wrapped up. This is the difference with Etienne this year. He's able to pull out of those tackles. First appearance for Travis Etienne, the blazing fast true freshman back. He's got it, barrels ahead. Touchdown, Tigers! Beautiful execution on the opening drive. 68 yards, and the champs on top quickly. It's the ETF. Can he get the edge? No, he's turned back, but does well and scores standing up. That was all Travis ETF on his own. The Tigers finally on the board. Great point about that being all Travis Etienne. It's a good read, he pitches it out, but look at Fuller not give up on the play, but the rest of the Ohio State defense is running, expecting him near the boundary, puts his foot in the ground, deals with Fuller, and then cut, cuts back against the rest of the aggressive Ohio State defense and into the end zone for the touchdown. He beat a very good safety in Fuller, and then just ran through about five scarlet jerseys. He'll toss it to him, to the corner, into the end zone. Travis Etienne and Clemson answers the AM touchdown. I think he gave Johnny Mantel a little shout out there. Etienne, the running back, and he takes a curl of middle, breaks a couple of tackles, and the 
Preferred roll, just barreling straight ahead and into the end zone, scoring, standing up. Yeah, as a passer, not so much. As a runner, that's what you expect to see. Not just the vision, not just the acceleration, but also now he's got power, lower body strength to bounce off of those tackles. Etienne again. Still on his feet. He has broken a ton of tackles today. And broke a couple more, making it down to the 43-yard line. Watch the burst through the hole and through contact. Ooh. Great balance as he stays on his feet. There's ETN. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown. 16th rushing touchdown for Travis ETN this season. And the new ACC record, 53rd. and he's going to finish, no question about it, one of the best backs in college football. Quarterback now sensing pressure off the edge. They come after him and smartly gets it to ETN and off to the end zone goes Travis ETN. And with that touchdown, he breaks the NCAA record for most games with a touchdown. 42 games 
for ETN. 72nd career touchdown now. A touchdown pass from DJ to ETN. ETN. Oh my goodness, look at that spin. He is so strong. In Xbox, what is this? It's like a joystick move or something. I think it's one of the right buttons there. on the bottom of the controller that you hit. Nine carries. Watch hundred. this. Right into your lap. You better wrap that guy up because you're not going to get a second chance. We've seen him break tackles. We see the little pirouette outside right there. And all of that is encased in, like, top-level speed. To the 30, he's loose! To midfield! To the 30, 20, 10, touchdown! 90 yards! off the quarterback position. He threw six out of eight for 49 yards. Hands off the ETN. ETN back out of his feet. He could go. He will go. Touchdown, ETN. And Clemson's a point away from tying it up. He is a bad man. He's a fast man. receivers over to 14 with a big block you can see 76 the center pollard way downfield and travis Etienne is as explosive as any running back in college football and when he's got room and starts to run downhill look out not a big impact as a runner tonight but as a receiver and he left your play once again second and four clemson looking to take the lead and Etienne will do it travis Etienne. Record breaker and surging with this comeback. From down 18 to taking the lead in the fourth quarter. Oh. 
The true freshman out of Jennings, Louisiana, brings this to the table. If you can get to the second level, you're going to have a really, really hard time catching them. And yes, indeed, Dave, I think they freed Travis. And Tony Elliott, the offensive coordinator, one of the co-coordinators, told us yesterday he maybe hasn't been doing a great job of coaching by not getting more touches to that guy in the right situation. Could have been in Baton Rouge. He has come out of the scene here at Clemson, has become a folk hero with that speed. This Clemson team. Third down, trying to find some leverage on the outside, and ETN stays on his feet and finds the end zone. What an athletic play to maintain balance. Travis ETN finds Pater. Balance, speed, really good. Little misdirection a bit with Amari Rogers coming through there, and then you just see the strength before the balance and the ability to finish. Didn't find pay dirt against the Citadel, but finds it here. Nine plays, 63 yards in a little over four minutes as Potter tacks on the extra point to make it 10 to nothing. He's just such a good back. Of turns over of the ball for, for Clemson. Here is ETN bouncing through tackles, keeps his feet. Travis scores. First explosive play of the day we've seen from Travis ETN. This is peak Travis ETN. What you saw right there, explosion through the hole, the spin move that has kind of become his patented thing. Such great balance to come out of that and then accelerate for the touchdown. It's what makes this guy special in a nutshell. If you want to know it in one play, that play was a great example. Another sub 90 second drive by the Tigers. For the lead, Uyangalale on the give. The run for ETN into the end zone. And Clemson has come back from down 13 to take the lead in South Bend. Senior leader, your, your guy, it's been tough sledding for him all game but he pounded it in there when they need it. ETN stopped initially, bounces outside and scores, standing up. And the Tigers stretch the lead in the first play of the second quarter. And that's the 39th game in his career that Travis ETN has scored a touchdown. And that, that, that play was bottled up, right? It was, until it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he just doesn't give up on the play. The Miami defense collapsed, and nobody was able to wrap him up. His legs were alive, and he recognized that they had collapsed on the edge, and he used that speed to get to the corner. ETN right up the middle at the goal line. Bowls his way in for another Tigers touchdown. First down and goal. ETN walk it in. Touchdown, Clemson. Travis ETN, his 15th rushing touchdown this season. And you look at the flow working all the way to the left. Defenders moving a little bit to the left. Chuck does a good job getting a piece of Brunson. But ETN just too much speed to the corner. ETN. Hurdles a man into the secondary, slams another defender to the ground, and muscles for a first and goal. Another collision with Bolden there. Yeah, there aren't a lot of backs that can hurdle a guy, and when he lands, not slow down his momentum. He went airborne and hit the ground, still at about a 15 on a treadmill, and then threw a defender right to the ground. ETN right up the middle. He is loose. ETN looking for the pylon. He'll get there! Touchdown, Clemson! And know a whole lot about football. Now, I actually got to talk to Chase yesterday. 
He does not want to let you talk. He just wants to score. Look at the last touchdown scored by Clemson. ETN, the second carry on this drive. He was responsible for all 81 yards. Yeah, he was. Look at that wide open gap. That, that's a miscommunication by the defense and the safety, not knowing which safety was coming down. And when you make that type of mistake, verse number nine, he is going to go the distance. He does for that big touchdown. <laughs> This is just straight power football, Steve. And you get a guy like ETN with that speed, that kind of a crease, and he's going to hit his head on the goalpost. <laughs> GMs in the NFL that will make that decision. Here's Travis ETN. First down and six points for the touchdown. Well, I feel like Renfro's been around here forever. ETN's only a sophomore. Riongo away on second and eight. That big arm and in stride ETN. And look at him go for more. You know, Holly talked about it earlier today about wanting to be a more well-rounded total package as a receiver. He's proven it, Greg. Yeah, and how about the throw, too? Uyunga right, Lele and ETN. Great separation. Just mentioned, he's done most of his damage today through the air. I mean, very dynamic. Lawrence, ETN touchdown. Just an easy pitch and catch to Travis ETN out of the backfield. And he is having a big receiving night. And I think he may be due for a big receiving year, but this is a really cool play design by Tony Elliott. Basically, it's a little slide play. They're going to fake to Amari Rodgers, and then they're going to slide Travis Etienne across the formation into the flat. Kind of like a bootleg, but instead of using your tight end to block down and would be the flat runner, you do it with your tailback coming across the formation. And the point after by Potter. Block room to start the third quarter. I think it's important to get that game experience after you've rested and sat down. There's a little slip screen. Second down and long. Again, the deceptive play. You just get the ball to Travis Etienne in space, and all of a sudden now you're out past midfield. Rodgers motioning across. That's just eye candy as they get the ball to Etienne in the flat. He's got blockers. He's got a crease. Travis Etienne knocked out inside the five. Balaam saved the touchdown, but how do you stop this guy on third down? Well, he's able to get to the outside. The backers are trying to get out there. Look at 79 hustling to try to get in the way. It does just enough to slow down Jennings from getting there. And again, once you get him outside, he's got the speed. He's going to pick up that first down, even though it's third and 14. Third down, swing pass. ETN, first down and more. Man, he can motor. He gets to the 40 of Virginia, and they'll move the chains. And yeah, this has been a problem for Virginia so far as they make a push towards that play. Lawrence sets up a screen. Great patience by ETN, and then the explosion. He stays in bounds, or did he? They're going to mark him out the 15-yard line. Boy, they spent the bye week, Jeff Scott told us, working a lot on their screen game, which hadn't been very good. This was beautiful. Oh, and watch the little limp leg move by Travis Etienne right here. Just, uh, uh, and boom. And there's that burst, that explosiveness that he has, that sprinter speed. 11-0 for the second straight year. They will play Virginia next week in the ACC championship game. A ton of room here for Etienne out of the backfield. No rush for just 37 yards, 2.8 per carry. This is, this is their adjustment, and a really good adjustment by Tony Elliott and Jeff Scott. Let get out there, make somebody miss, get some blockers out in front of him. Night of Lawrence, by the Cavs defense, conservative play. But Etienne is going to turn it into something big. He escapes to the 40 of Virginia. Still on his feet as he gets inside the 30-yard line. 
And finally ushered out of bounds by Blunt. That looked like it was dead in the water for a loss. And ETN, the two-time ACC Player of the Year, turns it into a big game. Well, it really should have been. I mean, it's essentially Cross has got the ability to make the play right there. And then you have four other Virginia defenders that are there to make the play as well. Make the offensive line the running game something they can hang their hat on. They've been able to do that the last four years. Pressure off the edge is picked up by the offensive line and the downfield throw to ETN, who makes the catch down inside the 10. It's first and goal. Boy, it, nice job here with the pressure coming late. How about that? John Simpson, the left guard, picks that up and, and gives Trevor Lawrence just enough time. He would have loved to have led him sneaking out on that wheel route against a linebacker. It's a mismatch. From his own end zone on third and 16. Over the middle. Finds Travis Etienne. A terrific receiving running back now. And how easy was that to pick up the first down? That was really easy. Luyongo away. Plenty of time to pick an option. And he goes downfield to ETN. Dangerous every which way is Travis ETN. Remember, he had a 35-yard touchdown reception earlier today. Well, this is a matchup that Boston College is going to have to figure out because ETN is contributing so well in the passing game already. On first down and 10. Pitch to Travis ETN. He's going to throw the football. ETN throws. Up for grabs and Justin Ross hauls it in. While Clemson has come out on fire. ETN. Travis ETN to return this one. Amari Rogers has already been close to returning him today. ETN across the 40, 30. Has a convoy. And down inside the five yard line. You like that for a changeup, putting ETN back on punt returns? All it does is get it on tape, and now the future opponent has to deal with, all right, well, we're not going to see the normal returner. We're only going to see the other best player on the They've team. They've got to get that fixed here in the second half. And Clemson to start off this second half with ETN with a fine-looking return out to the 39-yard line to return the kickoff here, and he does so from the five. ETN, the All-American running back, and a good return for ETN. Combination of the two get back to their rhythm that they had in the first three possessions. This is ETN who had the touchdown at the half, but he's loose on the kickoff return. Oh, wow. Door, the kicker, lowered the shoulder. Tough play, but he got run over by number nine. Collision here. Yeah, well, they're going to show it super slow mo. I mean, he accelerated through. Here. 43. Got a block. And pushed out of bounds at about the two yard line. Ankrum sprung him loose on that 41 yard gallop. We've seen time and time again another explosive run by Travis Etienne. Now Tony Elliott says he can be as good as he wants to be. That's certainly true of Etienne. Straight ahead. Breaks another tackle. How many did he bust on the way to that big game? And another first down. He rips off 30 yards. <laughs> 72 yards already for ETM. Never beaten a number one ranked team. 0 and 8 all time against number one. All kinds of running room on the delay for ETN. And he's inside the five yard line. It'll be first and goal. Clemson again, the power and the speed. Third and long. Lyle Hemphill told us we have to do a better job against the deceptive plays. The screen and draw game Clemson has is outstanding. Show the action one way, it shows pass. ETN breaks it back out the other way. That's a draw play on third and long. And second and eight, Travis has it. And spins free, shows the muscle, and gets a first down of that 22. Chase Bryce handed it off. Travis Etienne. They have, as Dino Babers told Holly Rowe, they have enough explosive players on the Clemson sideline to win. But I wanted to win, but win a certain way. Etienne. Pushed out of bounds right around the 10 yard line.
as Travis got to the edge. Well, everybody was bunched up in the middle. I guess what they did, they ran a little power to the outside. Good lead block and kind of fooled Wake Forest on that one, getting themselves a big run. The third down here for South Carolina defense. The pitch by Lawrence and Etienne with a burst to speed gets the first down inside the 15-yard line. Eight of 18 on third down. Travis Etienne up the middle. He's at midfield. Can they track him down? Eventually they do, but not before Etienne gets it all the way down to the Louisville 32-yard line, a gain of 48. Very high in Travis as a person. And there goes Etienne right on cue. Still running hard through an arm tackle to the 35-yard line. Travis Etienne back in the backfield. He's a sensational bounce to get outside. He'll pick up more here. That block is in front of Ross. Getting him downfield. Finally brought out of bounds. And about the 15-yard line, Ryan Titus chased him out. Comes from the top down. It's the culture of this program. Here's Etienne. At the five and touchdown. Second rushing score of the day for Etienne. Etienne to the edge. Turns it off the field. He's got midfield plus territory. And you got a glimpse of why that young man averages eight yards per carry for his career. They got him on the perimeter where they want him with an unblocked defender, and he's responsible for making that man miss. 400 yards. ETN showing his power and speed as he turned the corner and nearly took it to the end zone. They'll mark him out at the 13. It's another first down for the Tigers. Big hole on the left side. Power for Travis ETN down at the 46-yard line. You said power. That's exactly right. I mean, everyone sees the speed. Draw play to ETN. Right up the middle. Inside the 20-yard line before he's finally game tackled. Still moving the pile. The officials still have not blown this play dead. A rugby scrum down to the 14-yard line. Already 109 yards rushing for Travis Etienne in the first half. Strength. Look how strong he is. Okay, contact balance, contact strength. Cross cover the ball and watch the legs go. Go. Soccer three, number one team in the country. Here's Travis Etienne. Able to stay on his feet. Running away from people. Second down and seven. Still playing in the fourth quarter. Trevor Lawrence. And this is a big play to ETN, who has another nice catch and run. He's had several like that tonight. And he is finally knocked out near the 40 of Virginia. ETN stiff arming his way through the secondary. And he's got a first down and then some down to the 22 yard line. Picks up 19. On third down and three. Give it to the professional running back. Travis ETN is just tripped up. Or he would have had another touchdown. First and goal. ETN barrels in. And the Tigers winning the battle up front on both sides. Stretch the lead. Nice 10 play. 71 yard drive. A little over three minutes and a little bit of everything. On that drive from Clemson. It's a shovel pass to Travis inside. Makes a man miss. And just decides to stay down inbounds. Bless him for keeping the clock running at the 44-yard line. He's a good man. <laughs> <laughs> They'll leave an ETN on second and six as they have a blocker out in front. And look at how quickly he can go. Travis ETN. ETN is just so dangerous when he gets the ball in his hands. 23 yards there. ATN, first down and more inside the 10, down to the five, first and goal, Clemson. One of the things that I really like about this guy is he's very decisive. 
He's a slasher. So once he gets that ball, he's going to slash through and he's stab, put his foot and get north. And then the balance off of the lead. Clemson is all the time it needs to kick a field goal or score a touchdown. And they score the touchdown. Travis Etienne walks in. 94 yards. And the lead for Clemson with 41 seconds to go. A career high. 203 rushing yards on 27 carries. That's seven and a half per carry with good work by the offensive line. Blasting holes in the Syracuse defense that looked like it got really tired. You saw the heart of our team today. One resolve. That's the heart of a champion. And you saw the heart of the Tiger of the day. And proud of them. And Lawrence, thought one, jumps it over the middle. ETN in space. ETN, 10, Reeves. A championship drive from the defending champs. He's been running and running, and what does that do to the linebackers? They're going to come up to stop that quarterback run game. See him up here? Here is ETN. He just sneaks behind that look. Well designed, and there's ETN in the open field again, where he's so dangerous. Travis ETN has made an impact more as a receiver tonight. His second touchdown as a pass. Can't get, can't get him going, running the football, so they've had to turn to throwing it to him. And a couple times now, he's been able to get out in space and do damage. But a great call by Clemson at the right time after all the quarterback runs. They hit him with a play action. Oh, he's been amazing for our program. I mean, he's our, I mean, he's got about every record in the book. And those those who follow Clemson know, I mean, he's done it on very limited touches. I mean, I mean, he has, there's been lots of games where he's had eight, nine, 10 touches because of the nature of the game. And yet he's got a hundred and something yards. I mean, he's, he's got, he's the, got about all the records in the ACC, touchdowns and all that. Um, so he's just, he's a, he's a special young person beautiful family from right here in Jennings and uh, just a just a blue collar hard worker humble superstar and doesn't even know it you know he just goes about his business he loves to play he loves to practice he doesn't have a, a smidge of prima, prima donna in him he's a grinder and he sets a great example and sets the tone for everybody else and uh, you know because he's a he doesn't carry himself as, as as a superstar type guy I mean he he just goes about his business, and, and he's a great teammate, excellent student, and uh, just been a joy to watch transform over the last three seasons. Diamonds are forever. They you know when the bench reacts that way? When they raise their arms when he's at, like, the 50, they, they know it's over. That, that they've seen what you talked about in practice from this guy. A tiny little town in Louisiana. Gems. Gotta love a true freshman having a moment like that. Dabo Sweeney right there. That'll be the last one. Touchdown run. Awesome. A lot of hype around this young man, but I'll tell you what, when his when his time and numbers fall, he's gonna be special. ETN breaking tackles. In route across midfield. They'll be caught at the 35. That's that big home run ability we talked about. Coach said it's going to come today right up the heart of this defense. Great job blocking. If he doesn't get tripped up on the outside by the referee, he might have taken this to the house. 54-yard run for the true freshman. I'll tell you what, it's going to be hard to keep him off the field, Beth, this season. ETN. Jones' explosiveness and still barreling into the end zone. Clemson back in front. Said there were going to be some fireworks. I didn't expect this. We're not even five minutes into the game. From Lawrence, he'll hand it off and give it to ETN coming left side. ETN cuts it to the 15. He's at the 10. At the 5. Stays on his feet. And it's the end zone. And ETN refused to go down. Scores from 17. Clemson retakes the lead. 13 7 with 10 35 left here, first quarter. And what I love about that is ETN breaks two tackles. Alabama's not seen this kind of speed in the perimeter. Perfect example there. They look to me like they're almost jogging. ETM breaks two tackles to get in the zone. Tigers 
make a statement as ETN walks in, stretching the lead. Six plays, 65 yards. It's more like Clemson right there. They've got to be happy with that drive. And Travis Etienne, he is, he is not, if anything, he's accelerating through that hole. And off Etienne, 10 second touchdown. Clemson retakes the lead. 11.38 to go here. Second quarter, the Tigers up four at 20 to 16. It's a shovel pass in the middle. And Fenling is way to the end zone. ETN for a second time. Tigers on fire. It's a shovel pass to ETN. And it's for a touchdown of the night. Looked like it was going to be an option run to the right after Lawrence took the shotgun snap. He took a couple of steps, stopped, shoveled it to ETN. Anthony Jennings whipped on the tackle. ETN gets a block and makes a cut. ETN having a two-back look. Makes a cut. ETN in the clear. And finally, as they close in and run him out the entire territory. A great vision by ETN. Now we have seen Alabama bully people for the decade. You're sensing a little capitulation in the Crimson Tide right now. Pitch to ETN. And is this history for ETN? Travis ETN, who has been just amazing throughout his Clemson career, is now the all-time leading rusher in ACC history. Take a bow, young man. And these fans just love an honor. Steady like a rock in every way. An incredibly modest, low maintenance, and still the same small town Louisiana kid he's always been. Well done as we end the third quarter. Think about what he is now. Uh, and I've not been doing this that long. This is year six in the profession. So he is the most underappreciated player, an all-time great, an all-time great. So glad that he's had that moment. Will forever be remembered in the hearts of Clemson fans for what he's done for this program. Uh, it's been special. It's even more special is having CJ here with him. Unbelievable. I mean, he's always been gifted and explosive, and you just go, wow. Uh, you know, from the moment he first got here, the first practice, he's as complete a player in that position as I've ever been around. Now. I mean, I think he's as good as I've ever seen. Travis has that big smile. He's got this, this uh, you know, he's got a little bit of mystery to it. Uh, you know, and he's, he's just got this great spirit, great heart. Legendary, that's gonna be great.